Hello and welcome to Nomads Nirvana, the channel for adventurous travelers looking to explore the world and discover the differences in laws and regulations across different countries. Today, we're going to take you on a journey to explore the legal landscapes of the United States and India and highlight 10 things that are legal in the US but illegal in India. As a global traveler, it's important to understand the varying legal systems of the countries you visit. From same-sex marriage and marijuana legalization to fireworks and polygamy, we'll delve into the contrasting laws and regulations that exist in these two countries. We'll also examine the variations in state-level regulations that can impact your travels within each country. Let's start with same-sex marriage. Same-sex marriage is legal in the United States, but it is illegal in India. In India, homosexual acts are considered illegal under Section 377 of the Indian Penal Code, which criminalizes carnal intercourse against the order of nature. Moving on to gambling. In many states in the United States, gambling is legal, while in India, most forms of gambling are illegal. However, there are a few exceptions, such as horse racing and lotteries. Now let's talk about marijuana. In some states in the United States, marijuana is legal for both medicinal and recreational use, but it is illegal in India. Possession and sale of marijuana can result in severe legal consequences in India. It's important to note that laws can vary by state or region within both countries, and it's essential to research the laws specific to the area you are in or plan to visit. Next up is abortion. In the United States, abortion is legal, although there are various state-level restrictions on the procedure. However, abortion is severely restricted in India, with the exception of cases where the woman's life is in danger. Moving on to fireworks. In the United States, fireworks are legal in some states and heavily regulated in others, but they are illegal in India, except for certain types of fireworks during specific festivals. Let's talk about alcohol now. Alcohol is legal in both countries, but there are some differences in regulations. In some states in the United States, the sale and consumption of alcohol are restricted, and there are minimum age limits for purchasing alcohol. In India, alcohol is sold in licensed shops, but there are dry states where alcohol is completely banned. Prostitution is another topic we'll explore. Prostitution is illegal in India, whereas it is legal in some parts of the United States. However, even in places where prostitution is legal in the United States, there are strict regulations and restrictions on its operation. Now, let's discuss beef. In India, cow slaughter is illegal in most states, as cows are considered sacred in Hinduism. In contrast, the consumption of beef is legal in most parts of the United States. Moving on to euthanasia. In some states in the United States, euthanasia or assisted suicide is legal under certain circumstances, but it is illegal in India. In India, euthanasia is considered a criminal offense and can lead to imprisonment. Polygamy, or the practice of having multiple spouses, is illegal in both countries. However, some religious groups in the United States have been known to practice polygamy, while it is not widely accepted in India. Let's talk about guns now. In the United States, it is legal to own guns, subject to certain restrictions and regulations. However, in India, private ownership of guns is severely restricted, and only licensed individuals are permitted to own firearms. Next is surrogacy, a miraculous process of bringing a new life into the world with the help of a surrogate mother, has been legalized in many states of the United States. However, in India, surrogacy is only allowed in cases where the surrogate is a close relative of the couple. Though surrogacy has opened new possibilities for couples struggling with infertility, the laws surrounding it remain a complex and debated topic around the world. Enjoying a drink with friends in a park or beach is a common pastime in some parts of the United States, where consuming alcohol in public places is legal. However, in India, drinking in public is considered an offense and can lead to arrest and hefty fines. It is important to know and respect local laws and customs when traveling to a foreign country. Another important thing is divorce, a reality for many couples in the United States, is generally a straightforward and easy process. However, in India, divorce is not as widely accepted, and it can be a lengthy and complicated process, particularly for women. While divorce laws vary by country and region, it is important to approach the process with care and sensitivity, and to seek the advice of legal professionals if needed. Tattoos are a popular form of self-expression and art in the United States, and they are generally accepted in mainstream society. However, in some traditional communities in India, 
tattoos are still considered taboo and can be frowned upon. It is essential to respect local customs and beliefs when traveling to different parts of the world, and to appreciate the diversity of human expression and creativity. Last but not least, let's discuss the legal landscape around free speech. While the United States has strong protections for freedom of speech and expression, India has a more limited approach to free speech. The government in India has been known to censor and restrict certain types of content, including political speech and online content. So whether you're planning a trip to India from the United States or vice versa, it's crucial to understand the legal differences and regulations that exist in each country. By doing your research ahead of time, you can avoid any legal trouble and ensure a smooth and enjoyable travel experience. Thank you for joining us on this journey to explore the differences in laws and regulations across different countries. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to Nomads Nirvana for more exciting travel content. And if you have any suggestions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Safe travels!